everybody. Hi, how are you? Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, in today's video, um, I thought I'd just start off by saying what I'm going to be doing. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, why I don't want children and marriage. Um, somebody suggested in a few videos now to me that I should do a like a sort of like a a chat video where I just sit here and talk about the reasons why I don't want to have children, why I don't want to get married. Some people had um, views on it that that basically they would they agree with it and they want the same. And some people had opposite views and said basically you know why um, and they have children and so on. So basically in today's video that's what I want to talk about. Um, I was going to do another segment on um, PCOS and regarding weight um, but I think um, I'm going to leave that video for another week. It might even be next week or the week after, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I was thinking since I've had this requested to me now it's probably been like the fifth time I should probably sit down and do the video so um, but I just want to um, discuss about last the last video um, someone actually commented privately to me DM'd me and said that why are you um, someone said someone added me like on Instagram privately I said to me why are you talking about PCOS like it's the end of the world when people have cancer now, I understand that cancer is horrific. I know that. Um, I had I had family in, people in my family die of cancer, so I know what that is like. I know cancer obviously is the worst thing ever, but so you know, I know cancer is really compared to PCOS, but it's you know it's it's still a uh, a th not a disease but it's like a prognosis thing I don't even know how to say it but it's still something that is very very you know very strong very out there and, and by by all of your comments very current so um, I just wanted to get that sort of across that I'm not saying PCOS is the worst thing in the world and I'm saying that I'm not saying it's worse than cancer I never even mentioned cancer in my video um, it was just to say that it, it is horrible because people can't have children, people grow facial hair, people have irregular periods and so forth. So it was just to cover that up and say, you know, I, I'm not saying that it's worse. Than, I didn't say it's worse than cancer. I didn't say anything it was like cancer. Obviously, cancer is horrible and the worst thing ever. But PCOS is also a thing that is out there. So... You know, and I just like to tell sort of anybody who thinks that that I'm not trying to say that. So, I also want to um, roll back to that video and the response I got. You guys, everybody who is subscribed to me, whether you um, come up, come from Lauren's channel or Lauren's Facebook group, or or whether you are just subscribers from anywhere. I was so overwhelmed with the response, it was unreal. I literally had tears in my eyes with people commenting. I was so, like, it kind of touched my heart. Like, it was so, so meaningful because I've been wanting to do this for a long time, talk about it, and I was so scared and so nervous. And the main reason why I wanted to do YouTube was to get this message across out there. But also, not just that, was to basically talk about it because a lot of people are afraid to talk about it like myself I was afraid to talk about it and that is why I wanted to start YouTube because I wanted to I wanted to make people feel that they can talk about it and make a stance on it and make it you know out there and know that it is an issue that it's still a current issue and you know just make people feel that they can open up and take them along the journey with me because a lot of these people could be really really hurting inside and you know have no one to talk to about it so I'm so 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 pleased and it touched my heart massively from all your comments 
are amazing. Um, it really, really did uh, like open my eyes and, and stuff like that, and, and it made me want to do more videos on it. So thank you for that. And thank you for everybody's lovely support um, about me. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it wasn't just about me. It was about everybody out there that has PCOS, and that's who I'm trying to help. I also want to give a massive shout out to my best friend, Lauren, um, who, bless her heart, like, she was the one who, like, kind of gave me that little bit of extra confidence boost and said, you know, you should do it. It's going to help so many people out there. And I was like, yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Like, she could read my mind. That is why I wanted to start YouTube, was to help people. You know, I'm, I'm an unselfish person and I want to help people. And if this is me, if this is the way I'm going to be helping people, and so be it. You know, I I want to make these videos. Yes, I'm I'm filming off a sh shitty camera. Um, yes, I don't look fantastic, and yes, it's not a great lighting and whatever. But as long as it makes people feel like they're not the only one, that and and it's helping them some sort. Um. It kind of just gives me that little bit of extra boost to do it. But she was the one actually that morning saying, you know, do it, just do it, like go for it, like you know, make the video. And I and she was right. I've been wanting to do it for ages, but I've been so scared because I'm still not that confident in doing these kind of videos. I was like, oh, I don't know, but I do want to do it. I do want to do it. And I was just like, you know what, Yasmin, do it today. You've got a day off, just do it. So that's what I did. Um, and I want to thank her also for putting that lovely post on her uh, Facebook group. Um, if any of you guys are f um, subscribed to me and you're, and you're from the Facebook group or subscribe to her, um, I just want to say a huge thank you to her. Bless her. She is my rock. And um, I did not ask her to put that on there. Um, she actually did message me and say, you know, you should put it on my group and say, what do people think about doing it? And I was like, oh, I'm so I I always get so nervous putting stuff in her group. Like I don't I, I don't want to feel like like I'm intruded or anything. I know she's not thinking that at all. She's always welcoming to people and everything like that. But I don't know. I just feel like I'm intruded. I don't really want to, you know, do that. So bless her and I thank her so much for doing that. I really, really, really do. Really, really, really do that because I did not know how many people knew or themselves had PCOS. And even with the weight situation, how many people are struggling with weight. And it was so nice to see lovely comments saying that their sister is struggling to lose weight or they've got PCOS or their friend or, or themselves and themselves want to lose weight, whether you're a woman or a man or, or whatever, whoever it is. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to my best friend. And I want to say a huge thank you to all you lot for your amazing comments and support. Um, it really, really did help. So there will be another video coming out. I am getting like facts about what happened, sort of like it's kind of been like a story sort of thing of how it happened, um, and and so on. So basically, that's why I'm kind of like waiting to do it is because I need all the facts. So um, going back, I've just spent so long talking about that. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to get that out there. Um. So this video is about why I don't want children and um, marriage. Now I'm going to get into the slightly um, difficult conversation of talking about kids. I'll talk about kids first. So my mum is a childminder and she childminds kids. She's been doing it since my, excuse me, my um, brother was born. So my brother's 16 now. Um, and she's been doing it ever since, ever since he was a baby, so a very, very long time, and, um, ever since these 16 years, since she's had these kids, not in a nasty way, but it has put me off massively of having kids, not just that, my, I have, most of my friends that I had in school, or most of my friends that I knew from previous jobs or whatever, they all have kids now, and married, and it's just not the life I want. I am quite happy with how my life is at the moment, you know, I'm living on my own, 
I don't have any responsibilities apart from this flat I have responsibilities for and obviously in a car um but I don't want to have not I'm not in a self, not in a nasty way because I just want to make that clear but I I love like my friends kids don't get me wrong I love my friends kids but other children just oh my god literally they aggravate me so much I just I just can't like I could barely look after myself let alone looking after a child I like to sleep when I want to sleep I like to eat when I want to eat I like to do this do that when I have a child it's it's all going to go out the window like I can't I don't know how people do it and it's not a nasty thing to say I just don't know how people do it and you know um me and Lauren discuss this quite a bit and our both of us don't want kids and I I am set by that I don't want kids my friends have kids and I don't want them I do not want to push a baby out for a start I watch one born every minute if you haven't watched it I suggest you watch it that put me off but one goes oh but you get like a joyful little thing at the end and I was like yeah that may be but I it's not for me and I enjoy going on holiday with Lauren having these spontaneous you know uh, trips or spontaneous things like going to I don't know, it could be like going to the O2, something so silly, or having nights in, you know, with Lauren or whatever. I, that will all go out the window if I ever had a child, ever had a child. <laughs> Excuse me. So rude. Um, <laughs> I just, it's not for me, and it's not for, been for me for a while now. I would probably say about 16 years, it's not been for me. Before that, I did want to have kids. I think I wanted about four. Um, but after my mum childminding, um, I decided no go. I literally do not want kids. They are such a handful and that's not being nasty, but they are hard work. And that is the ultimate truth. They are hard work. I don't want to get to a point where I'm looking like absolute rubbish. I mean, I look like rubbish now, let's be serious. Like, but... I don't want to look like I'm really run down or, you know, being pregnant for nine months with, you know, tired, no sleep, have to feed your kid before you. Um, it's just not for me. And I'm not a selfish person, but that is the only time that I'll be selfish is when it comes to children. I don't want to have kids for that ultimate reason. I enjoy buying myself clothes. I enjoy buying this myself. I enjoy decorating my fucking flat and Christmas decorations you know I enjoy doing all these bits and pieces going on holiday going to London going here going wherever it is I enjoy doing it and I won't be able to do that sort of stuff if I have kids and it's not just that they are hard work and it's not for me and you know people say like my family or whatever say well you might want to like my aunties might say oh you may want to in like uh, 10 years time when you meet the right person if I do meet the right person I still don't want kids <laughs> like it's not going to make my mind change although I would like to meet somebody don't get me wrong um but kids is just not an option for me and that goes for marriage like I will be honest when I was younger I did want to get married yes I did um now I've seen so many marriages break up um also from um past issues that are still going on with not me but somebody else um that I, I can't really talk about maybe i might talk about it in i don't know maybe a few months or a year or so when i'm ready but that has put me off having any kind of like marriage or anything like that i the only reason why i, I would want a marriage is to have the christmas party <laughs> basically like that is the only reason why i'd want to get married is so i could get married in like new york in times square with it snowing 
like that is the only time I'd want to get married is like that and to be honest I don't really want them married I just want the party I just want the standing in the wedding dress in snow in in Christmas time in New York I mean me and Lauren can go and do that for Christ's sake like I don't need a man for that um as you all know what me and Lauren are like um but let's be serious I'll probably get married to Lauren when I'm by the time we're 40 um <laughs> but i it's not for me um and it's not because i haven't found the right person i just i'm not interested in it i see how many marriages fail and that's also this is also combining with kids as well i've seen so many relationships or not just men both men and women cheating on their wife or husband because of how their wife or husband's not giving them any attention anymore because of the kids. I've seen it break marriages apart and that is not for me. I want someone who's going to be loyal and who's going to stick by me through thick and thin, whether, you know, whatever happens. But that's one another reason why I don't want to have children and want to get married because it, it really does turn people and it's broken so many marriages and, and relationships and stuff like that. So... It's just not for me. And I thought I'd do like a quick little video on this. I don't think it's even quick. I think I've rambled on for like, it says 16 minutes now. Um, so I'm sorry, but I, this video has been requested like five or six times now on some of my videos, some of the comments, people have said, oh, you should do talk about like, um, why you don't want children. I'll probably go in more depth into it on a separate video, but this is kind of like, just a chit chat kind of um why i don't want children and why i don't want marriage and kind of like a thank you for the last video as well so i'm gonna leave it there but basically there are the reasons why um if anyone would like to talk to me like you know want to want to know a bit more or want to ask me any more questions um i might do another video on this like i said in more depth with more questions as to why um and comments and stuff like that then don't you know comment below or instagram like uh comment on my instagram or um dm me whatever it's called i don't even know the terms these days i'm so old um <laughs> but just want to say a huge thank you for everybody's support uh, i know i've said this again three times but it does mean a lot to me and i didn't expect um any any sort of you know i didn't expect any sort of like hype about it i didn't expect a lot of people to comment i didn't expect anything like that. i don't expect it i just want to make it to help people so when people watch it you know they feel comfortable and they feel like they can relate and that is you know my goal at the end of the day but i do appreciate so much the comments and um just everything it's really sort of brought my spirits back up and it has really made me want to do another video on it, which I am doing. I'm just writing all the facts out as to why, when, how, all that sort of stuff. Um, so another video will be coming shortly, whether it will be this week, next week or the week after. It might even be in a couple of weeks time. But for now, this is the video that um, we're making today. Uh, if any of you guys got any suggestions on videos that I should do, obviously comment below because I am trying to go through them slowly. I know a couple of people have asked me about tattoo videos. Um, I don't really know what to talk about because I've only got the one, I don't even know if you can see the one tattoo. I don't even know if you can see. Um, but I've got the one tattoo, the music note, which me and Lauren have matching. Um, and I did discuss in my Q&A last time, which was what I wanted um, tattoo wise, which was a Disney one and a christmas one at one point and maybe this year or next year but i will go more in depth in that i am doing a q a part two by the way i've had had a few more questions so i will be doing that probably next week um but any suggestions any comments any questions or anything like that let me know and i'll answer but thank you thank you thank you thank you so much to everyone and my best friend i love her loads <laughs> um but yes thank you and i will see you all guys next week um thanks for all your support um and yeah i hope everybody treats each other you know kindly um 
if like I said, if you've got any questions regarding PCOS or weight, don't hesitate to Instagram me privately and I will talk to you. Um, if I do take time, it's because I have either not seen it yet or I have a couple to answer or I'm I'm always busy doing something, but I will answer, I will answer. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm going to leave it there. Um, hope you all have a great rest of the week. I am off until Saturday and then I am working Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So sad times. Um, but I've got to do it. I've got to do it. So, but thank you all for your support and your love. And just want to say, yeah, have a good week and weekend and see you all next week. Bye.